the best f-stop for underwater photography. That um, really depends on what you're going to shoot. Well, the best aperture is the one that's right for the shot that you're trying to do. I guess that there is no answer to this question. There is no best f-stop. It really does depend on your subject. Well, that depends on what you're trying to shoot. An f-stop is an f-stop is an f-stop depending upon what you're shooting. Because I'm a Spinal Tap fan, randomly I'll say f11, because it's one more than 10. Well, that really depends on what you're doing. Um, the best aperture for underwater photography. That's actually a tough one. Aperture is going to control the depth of field. So if you're shooting macro, you need a lot of depth of field. If you're shooting wide angle, it's less about that. It's more about preserving corner sharpness. So if we're jumping in the water for macro, we want to stop our aperture down quite a bit. F16, F22, somewhere on the high end. If we're on wide angle, probably starting around F8, maybe going to F11, but it kind of depends on the specific lens that you're using. So when I set my aperture, I am considering how um how delicate or how soft I want the image to be. If I want it to be cinematic, where very little of it is in focus and the rest is a soft, uh, has soft edges, soft colors, soft transitions, soft gradients, then I'm going to open up and I'm going to shoot a low f-stop, like f2.8. But if I really want a lot of detail, or if I'm shooting macro, where already the lens gives me such a limited depth of field, then I'm going to shoot a higher f-stop, as well, if I'm shooting into the sun or another image with high dynamic range, I'm going to shoot a high f-stop so that I can manage the ambient light. It's just always the war between my strobes and the ambient light, and the f-stop is one of my weapons that I have. So there's an old saying like, f8 and be there, and that's pretty good for a lot of wide angle stuff. I'd say most of my wide angle, if I'm shooting with a traditional dome, I'm usually trying to stay about f11 or above. Um, if you got a water contact optic like uh, this WACPC from Nauticam, um, you can shoot wide open, uh, wider than that. So often with this, I'll shoot all the way at like 5.6. And then for um, macro, I'd say most of the time I'm in that f11 up to f18 range. What I like to use in video is the widest aperture. Usually the lower number you have in your lens. In the case of the 1835, it's like 1.8. And what happens is that you decrease your, your depth of field. Like you have a very shallow depth of field. So whatever is in focus is what it's like. Maybe just this, sometimes even less. Imagine like when you do macro, people will do macro know what a shallow depth of field is. So imagine you bring in that to wide angle. So we have only the subject you want in focus and all the rest will be kind of blur and creamy and that's left like a cinematic image that I'm always looking for. Um, I'm a big fan of shooting a little bit wider open, uh, especially for macro. Um, using that wide open aperture really gives you that nice shallow depth of field, helps break away the subject from the background um, and also really kind of draws your eye to that subject, especially if it's a fish or a nudibranch, get that face. Um, really get some definition on it, um, help it separate from, from the background, and also probably turn that background into a nice sort of color palette for you instead of really sharp objects in the background. The best aperture for underwater photography? Well, depends on kind of what you're doing. Um, on this camera rig here is set up for wide angle. Um, with a relatively smallish dome, it's a 140 millimeter dome, so what I typically do with these, I run a minimum of F11 on that to get sharp corners. And I like to do close focus wide angle with this kind of a setup. So F11 is my minimum. Uh, and then I'll go up to there if I get really close to things, you know, kind of like I hang loose away from things. Then I'll be going up to like F16 or something to get a little bit more depth of field. 